All right, so this is week 28 quiz, and it, number four says, what is the smallest positive integer that has a remainder of seven when divided by eight, a remainder of eight when divided by nine, and a remainder of 11 when divided by 12? So we can, let's say that our smallest positive integer is x. So we can say that x equals seven mod eight, which means that when x is divided by eight, it has a, mod, it has a remainder of seven. And we can just write, so x also equals eight mod nine, and x also equals 11 mod 12. So from here we can notice that every one of these ha only jumped by increment of one. So like eight to nine, that's only one. 7 to 8, that's only 1. 11 to 12, that's only 1. So from here, we can see that if we just have x equals some multiple of 12 times 9 times 8, and then we subtract a 1, then it'll have 1 less than every multiple of 12, 9, and 8. So for example, Let's say that x was the same thing, but with remainder of 2 when divided by 3, 3 when divided by 4, and 4 when divided by 5. So if we have x be equal to 5 times 4 times 3, then we have x equals 60. And minusing 1, we can get that 59 over 2, I mean 59 over 3, has a remainder of 2, which is... 19 remainder 2, 59 over 4 has 14 remainder 3, and 59 divided by 5 has 4, no, not 14, 11 remainder 4. So you can see that this works. So if we just get the LCM, because it asks for the least the smallest possible positive integer, then we can just have the LCM, which is the least common multiple of 12, 9, and 8. So to find this, we have to prime factorize each of these numbers. So for example, 12 equals 2 squared times 3. We can have 9 equals to 3 squared and 8 equals to 2 cubed. So from here we can just have the largest exponent which would result in 3 and 3 sorry 2 cubed and 3 squared which is just 9 times 8 which is equal to 72. So from here, we can see that 72 minus 1 will be the largest integer, which is also x. So you can check this by having 71 divided by 8 equals to um, 8 remainder 7. 73, 71 divided by 9 equals uh, 7 remainder 8. And 71 divided by 12 equals 5 remainder 11. So this all works. So the answer is 71. 71, yeah. So the next question is question 8. And it says, Bill buys widgets for $3, Gidgets for $8, and Pidgets for $11. If Bill bought exactly 100 aliens, which are widgets, Gidgets, and Pidgets, for $400, and he purchased as few Gidgets as possible. What is the order triple widgets, Gidgets, Pidgets that represents his purchase? So we can see that. Uh, we can see that if Bill buys widgets for $3, so let's say widgets equals 3. Gidgets equals 8, and Pidgets equals 11. 
we can first like say that like let's say that bill buys all widgets so that'd be three hundred dollars for a hundred widgets so three hundred dollars so we want as few widgets as possible so we can keep replacing each of the widgets we have with digits so let's say that we replace let's say 10 10 widgets with pigeons so then that means that we have 90 widgets 90 widgets and we have 10 gidgets 10 pigeons sorry and this results in 270 plus 110 which equals to um 380 so this is 380 dollars so now we can see that every time we replace a widget with a pigeon we increase the uh, the price of his purchase by eight dollars because you're basically just finding the total whatever this is minus a widget which is three dollars plus a pigeon so this this happens every time we replace a pigeon with a widget so that means that th that's an increase of eight dollars to the total therefore we can see that three eighty dollars and we can keep in increasing this by eight by eight so now we have 88 widgets and 10, 12 pigeons. But we can see that this results in 396. So we have to add some, so we know that we can't make a purchase with entirely widgets and pigeons. Therefore, we will have to have some gidgets, but we have to have as less as possible. So if we keep subtracting, so let's go back to where we had 90 widgets and 10 pigeons. So we now have 380 and we have $20 left, $20 extra that we need to spend. So now we can see that every widget we buy, every gidget that replaces a widget, we will have total minus widget plus pigeon which equals an increase of five dollars because this is eight and this is three so we'll have eight minus three which is five so from here we can see that we can replace four pit four four widgets with four gidgets and we can see that this means that we have 86 widgets, four gidgets, and 10 pigeons. So this is just, um, this is just 258 plus 20 plus 110 wait no sorry this is not 20 this is 32 because every gidget is worth eight dollars so so using this we can see that why is my screen not working it's lagging it's lagging ah. okay so sorry about that my screen was lagging for a second okay um so we know that this is 20, 258 plus 32 plus 110, we know that's going to become, we know that's going to become 400. So this is the least amount of gadgets that can be purchased. So the answer is just, um, I'm back here. So the answer is just 86. Four 
and 10. So this is the answer with the least amount of digits. So yeah, that's the answer.